how to charge an e-bike battery. You'd think this would be really simple, but there's some things to know. Here's the ideal way. You want to plug the charger into something that has a power switch. And the reason for that is to avoid electrical arcing. More on that later. And if you charge inside, you can just leave the charger plugged in all the time. In this case, I took the battery out of the bike, but that's kind of annoying to have to do all the time. I just charge it with a battery in the bike, and some people might not want to charge large lithium-ion batteries indoors. A lot of e-bike fires seem to be caused by using a charger that isn't meant for the battery it's charging. But if you're concerned about Chinese quality control standards, you might prefer to do your charging outdoors. At the very least, for your first couple of charges. So again, first you plug the charger into the outlet. This outlet is also controlled by a switch. Next, plug this barrel end into the matching hole on the battery. The battery key should be in the off position when doing this. Then turn on the switch. On this charger, there's a red light that comes on. When it's charged, the light will turn green and it will not be charging anymore. In this case, I'm charging from a solar power station so I can see how many watts I'm pulling. This peaks at 320 watts and as it approaches full charge, that number will drop a lot. So if you're not sure how much charge you have, this is one way to figure that out. Another way, assuming you have these, is to use the battery meter on the battery or the LCD controller. My battery meter is very inaccurate, so I don't use it. And the LCD controller is more accurate, but it still only has four bars. So you can think you're at 50%, but you're actually at 30%. So it's still good to be able to understand how much range you have. And it's a good thing I already covered that in my how to buy an e-bike battery video. Don't worry, you don't have to stop watching now. There'll be another link at the end. The gist is, lithium ion batteries do best when charged above 20%, but below 80%, with it being way more important that you keep that charge level above 20%. So if you're not sure how much charge you have, just let the charger go green. Especially if you have a small battery like 10 amp hours. This is a 20 amp hour, which is very big and probably unnecessary for casual riders. If you want to figure out how long it takes to charge your battery, there are battery recharge time calculators out there, and your charger should say what its output current is. So back to the charger. I said the ideal way was to use a switch, but if you don't have a switch, what do you do? If you plug your charger into the wall, then plug your charger into the battery, it will arc. Like, as soon as the metal touches, it's just gonna psh. So you have to plug in the battery first, then plug the charger into the wall, and there will be a delay before it turns itself on. That's fine, but what if you want to disconnect your battery before it's fully charged? Like, you gotta go now and your batteries are still charging. If you unplug it from the battery while it's taking in electricity, it might arc. Unplug it from the wall, and it might arc at the wall. Given the choice, I would unplug it from the wall first, but that's why these things should come with switches. And maybe there's some that do, but not the stuff that comes straight from China. And just the thing I do that may or may not be voodoo, when I get home, I don't just plug it in to charge right away. I'll give the battery some time to cool down, like 20 minutes, and then charge it usually for four to five hours. <laughs>